Hello there, Rachel. This video is specifically for you. Uh, for some of the other viewers, that is a Madagascar day gecko. I think they pronounce it Madagascan, actually. And he's four and a half years old. He eats crickets, fruit, and hangs out on the glass. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool little reptile. Anyway, Rachel, um, I received the uh, humidity and temperature sensor in the mail today. And uh, this is what it looks like. It came in a box that looked uh, just like this. Uh, orders, ordered this off of Amazon. It was, oh, like $22. And there's the part number on there. Um, they claim it'll work with a Raspberry Pi and Arduino. Uh, the box looks rather Chinese. Uh, a little bit of English on there, temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, specifically, this is the AM2315, the website on there. And inside the box came this right here. This is what I'm going to hook up. Uh, this is the AM2315 temperature and and humidity sensor. It's all housed in this weatherproof housing and on the tip of it there is some sort of a gold porous metallic material. Um, it can breathe. That's how the temperature and the humidity get in there. It's got four wires, a red, a white, a black, and a yellow. And those end up hooking up to the Raspberry Pi GPIO, that's general purpose IO ports, that's these pins right here. I gotta figure out a way to make these pins plug into there safely. Um, I'm basically just gonna hang this guy in here in the corner, um, inside the cage obviously. It'll be out of sight, but it will do, it'll do a good job for what I, for what I have planned for it. I'll hang it like right about down here somewhere. Uh, also in the box was a mount, a uh, different kind of mount, and they gave you a little bit of hardware. None of this I'm going to use, I'm just going to use this. Uh, also ordered a little bag of uh, resistors, and I think there's some LEDs in there, some switches, potentiometers, and some other bits and bobs and switches and I don't know what all. Really, all I need out of there is the 4.7K resistors. Uh, they're required for this to interface with the Raspberry Pi. And back to the Pi. The red indicates it's powered on. The blue is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB adapter that connects to the home network. And that ribbon cable coming out 18 inches long comes all the way down here and hooks up to the very crudely mounted Raspberry Pi camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera. It takes really good photos, but Twitter um, reduces the resolution to increase upload speed, increase download speed for viewers. And I got it scotch taped up here. Uh, up here and down here. It's very crudely mounted. I need to find a better way to mount this because I like to be able to put it here because uh, right now Nero's favorite spot is on the back wall. Uh, last week his favorite spot was on the wall over there with the uh, thermometer. So actually I had it hanging right here. Well I've had to move it over here. I'm open to ideas to uh, safely mount that and really um, I almost need like an adjustable mount because if the camera is pitched up or down a little bit it actually affects the photo quite a bit and I like to keep exactly what you see in the frame in the camera I don't like getting the lights in there or getting down too low because Nero hangs up or hangs out in the upper third of his terrarium um, well, that's about all I have to say. I'm going to get going on this, see what I can do to get it working. Uh, no guarantees I'll get it done tonight. Uh, I got this pamphlet to go through. Um, looks like it might be kind of challenging, but we'll see. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.